Well, good morning. We're at the trailhead for, uh, there's two places we go to Kuyamaka, which we've already done. We're going to head up to Stonewall, which is just on the other side of the highway. It's a short hike, and uh, we're going to go up there and get a few contacts, and then we're going to head over to Middle Peak and uh, activate that one. So, got the pack on. Maybe a little bit of drone action today, we'll see, and uh, yeah, beautiful day. Clear skies, a little bit of fog in the city, but uh, yeah, just gorgeous up here. Nice, uh, I think it's gonna be a warm one. Well, let's get cracking. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Summit's on the air. Well, um, as you see, uh, we made it to the summit. Um, hopefully, with that cool drone shot came out. Um, it's a great place to do one, and those uh, the people out there gave me permission to go ahead and go out and do it. I don't like to run the drone around people just because they're out here to enjoy the peace and quiet. But uh, just a quick shot around, and then uh, came down a little bit where I could set up away from people. Um, I'm currently running the uh, uh, K6ARK uh, random wire here uh, with a counterpoise on it up to that pole over there. Not sure if you can see that. My operating position has an absolutely gorgeous view uh, up here. And uh, we're going into the KX2 down here. So let's fire that baby up and see what we can get. Hey, yo, squirrel. And uh, yeah, squirrels are up here. Uh, several people enjoying the, the beautiful day that we're having. So uh, we're gonna try to get on the air here, make some contacts. And uh, then when we're done here, we're going to head over to Middle Peak and uh, try something a little bit different. So it's called mountain bike without crashing. This is called hiking without crashing, just so you know. Uh, not really summits on the air, it's hiking without crashing. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see if we can get this thing fired up. Is this frequency news? Is this frequency news? November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie, summits on the air. Let's get spotted. Uh, Spot 285. Rock and roll. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1. Charlie Lima Charlie calling CQ, CQ, CQ for someone's on the air. Any station, anywhere. Kilo 6, Kilo Mike Hotel. Kilo 6, Kilo Mike Hotel. I've got you about a 5555. Five, five, five. Go ahead. Yeah, Roger, Roger. About a five, 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 six in there. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Have an awesome day. Seventy-three, November one, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summits on the air. Whiskey Seven Hotel Oscar. Uh, Hotel Oscar, go again. Yeah, Whiskey Seven Hotel Oscar. Good morning, Chris. You're running a uh, good five nine up here in Oregon. Over. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I got you five down, five nine down here as well, Ronnie. You betcha there, Chris. Yeah, you're actually up plus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Roger, Roger, man. I got you a 10 over as well here and on video. So check my website at hamninja.com slash videos. And uh, maybe we'll get that up there next week. You betcha. And um, yeah, I'm waiting for the last one to get published on uh, YouTube uh, uh, here uh, on the 12th. I'm going to have to get you the link. Yeah, 
Yeah, Roger, Roger, that's gonna be a special one. Yeah, I think I'm on that one as well there, Chris. Anyway, good seeing you. And by the day, by the way, the day uh, I shortened it to a lot. Radio Ocean, Nancy, over. QSL, QSL, thanks a lot for the contact, Ron. You betcha, Chris, and have fun. Way to go, Ron. Sounds great, man. All right. CQ, CQ, this is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, Summit's on the air, any station, anywhere. Okay, I got a Kilo Juliet 7, go ahead. Yeah, Roger, Roger, I got you 5-5 five, five as well, 5-5. Five, five. Alrighty, 73, David, November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, Summit's on the air. Hey, Josh, Whiskey Uniform 7 Hotel, got you about a 5'8", five 5'8", eight, five eight, buddy. All right, Chris, you're about a 5'7", 57 here in the wet state of Washington. One CLC, Summit's on the air. All right, uh, Mike, Victor Alpha 6, fun. Been a long time since I've gotten you on sideband. Roger, Roger, got you 575757, five, seven, five, seven, over. Okay, thanks for the 57. Five, You're back up to about a 56 at 56. Uh, thanks for being there. Have fun. Alrighty, man, have a great day. November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie, Summit's on the air. Killing it. November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie, Summit's on the air. Any station, anywhere. Got one of our regulars anywhere, a couple of them. November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie, Summit's on the air, any station, anywhere. Alpha Echo Zero, X-Ray India. Okay, I got an Alpha Echo Zero, X-Ray India, and I got you about a 5.9 up here on the summit, go ahead. Uh, you're about a 5.5, five, 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 get to the state of South Dakota. Whiskey, Whiskey 7 Delta. Hey, Daryl, how's it going, man? Long time no talk to you. Uh, I got you about a 5.9, five, five, about uh, probably 10 over. Okay, very good. Yeah, you're a 5.8, a solid 5.8 up here in Seattle, Chris. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, this is about the best I've ever uh, heard you. Uh, so uh, thank you for the activation. Hope you're having fun, and uh, stay warm and dry, although it probably already is that down there. Uh, N1 CLC from Whiskey Whiskey 7 Delta. Yeah, Roger, Roger. You guys getting rain up there, Daryl? <laughs> oh, bummer. What'd you get it activated? Yeah, it was just a VHF activation. Uh, we were going to do HF, but not with the rain, you know? Yeah, roger, roger. All right, Darrell. Well, thanks a lot for the contact, man. I hope to get you on the next summit. I'm going to be heading over to uh, Middle Peak here in a bit. Okay, I will uh, I'll probably be around. I'm just hiding in my cave, uh, staying out of the rain. 73 from Whiskey Whiskey 7 Delta. All righty, 73. November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Summit's on the air. That's a good uh, maybe nine contacts or eight contacts so far. Uh, we got a few on VHF, so we got 13 contacts in the bag so far. And uh, we're going to go to maybe try some CW down on 40. Uh, we'll jump up to 20 and do that for guys who want to do uh, 20 meter side uh, CW. Awesome. Well, uh, that makes at least four summit to summits that I've had today. Uh, 31 total contacts up here on uh, sideband, uh, 20. Uh, 40 meter, 2 meter, um, picked up a K6 AR cake over a, a K6 AR K, not cake, on Villager Peak, uh, full 5.9, it was awesome. Didn't get it on video, but uh, yeah, it was good to hear him out there. I didn't think we'd be able to get uh, such an easy QSO, but uh, must have an awesome line of sight into here. I'm going to head over to Middle Peak and uh, see if we can't do that one. So let's head on down and get cracking. Okay, well, as you can see, I'm wearing something different. We're gonna try something different today. Gonna take the mountain bike up to uh, Middle Peak, and I'm not sure how far into the activation we can ride, uh, zone we can ride. Then we'll stop, get off, hike the rest of the way into the activation zone, and get cracking. So, we're 
we're about to see how well this works. Let's get cracking. Okay, we've secured the bike here. Got that locked up. I'm gonna, and kind of hidden down in here, off the trail. So we're gonna head up the hill. Uh, we're part two now. This is where we're gonna do a little hiking. So, uh, don't have to go up too far. It's about a 50 feet of elevation gain. I'm not sure I'll go all the way to the summit because to actually get to the actual highest possible point, it's a bushwhack. I've done it two or three times. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's not worth it. Because you get up there and you can't see anything. You're surrounded by this theonosis of this stuff, which grows about eight, 10 feet tall or more. So we'll just climb into the activation zone. Huh set up our station and start cranking. So, beautiful day today, kind of warm, it's probably 75, but uh, easy bike ride up. A little bit more difficult with the backpack on because it throws your center of balance off and a little bit if it's shifting and um, you need to get forward over the front wheel so you don't pop a wheelie trying to climb. But uh, yeah, that was a good, uh, good uh, workout and I didn't wreck so check let's keep our fingers crossed to the way down all right enough yakking let's get cracking a little Karen's here on logs just passed one a couple of them over here it's easy to lose this trail but as you can see we're gonna go through some pretty thick uh, bush here I think it's called theonosis it's a pain in the ass I recommend eye protection helmet shin guards um actually the trail's in better condition than the last time i was here um looks like a small army of people have come through here so it's a little bit better marked uh, it was hardly marked at all last time i was here but yeah this is this is fun uh, yeah okay we're still on the right path got a rock here I don't recommend it, this, if it's wet, but uh, we're in the AZ now. Let's see if I can find, pick up the rest of the path, get a little comfortable margin in, and then uh, start sending out some RF. It's a huge tree. Alrighty, we're looking uh, pretty much north right here. Um, nice view from up here if I went up any farther then I'd be deep in this brush but I'm sitting a bit way up on a rock here so I got a view got the antenna set up um, the last time I was up here um, I think I said I was never gonna do this again now I remember why it's just a pain in the ass but well as K6 ARK would say doesn't have to be fun to be fun there you go so a bit of a bushwhack literally that's why uh, eye protection mandatory <laughs> so all right enough for the yak and let's see if I can make a couple contacts four to be exact so we can get activated with points and then anything after that is pure fun so let's get going 
So we'll strap on my uh, my keyer here. This thing works pretty well. I like having it strapped on because then it's just kind of there. I can hold on to it when I sand if I want to, but um, yeah, it's working pretty good for me. So I'll uh, start plugging stuff in. Keyer goes into key. Power goes into power. The uh, bike got me down to the car in about, I don't know, 15 minutes. It would normally take me, or less than 15 minutes actually. And it would normally take me uh, a good 45 to walk back down here. So, of course it's all downhill, so I didn't even need a pedal. But it's fun. Yeah, I've walked this a few times and uh, it's very pleasurable to be able to, to ride my bike on this thing. So, uh, I'm... I lost battery at the top of the summit, so I wasn't able to close it out, but I got, uh, let's see, 30 contacts, one summit to summit with uh, K6ARK Adam, um, who is still on uh, Pleasant, I believe, and he was blowing me out on uh, 40 meter, nine over, uh, he was 5.9 he was, uh, plus, so that was cool, a lot of contacts today, beautiful, beautiful weather, and uh, now I'm hungry, may have to hit... Uh, we have to hit Veronica's kitchen. Um, I know some of you are going to ask about the bike, so let's go over that really quick. Um, what I did is I took an old frame from my neighbor who uh, moved and uh, basically gave it to me. Gave it to another guy and then that guy gave it to me. I refurbished it, uh, put a new drivetrain on it, and turned it into a commuter bike, uh, e-bike. And what I did is I went to lunacycle.com and picked up a kit there with battery and a super economical way to do it you can you can outfit your your e-bike with twice as much uh battery and motor than you can buy for like half the cost um i did it for just a little over a thousand bucks and and i got that money back in gas that i saved because i got over 800 miles commuting on it so let's take a quick look um this is the beast um i'm not too worried about um Wait, so I got some stuff back here in the trunk. Um, but as you can see, there's the battery uh, from LunaCycle. That's the biggest 52 volt they sell. It's solid as heck. They've uh, potted it. They basically built them and then they pot them so they're really uh, held on well. And that's held on with magnets actually. And if you want, you can add some additional um, uh, wire ties on there if you want, zip ties. So that comes up. Um, to the control unit here um, the brakes basically will cut off the motor so they, they have they're wired in there's wires on these uh, brakes that will cut the motor when, as soon as you hit it so you can't do both um, this it's pedal assist which means you still have to pedal this adds or subtracts the amount of power that it's added for the power assist and this is a throttle so it's really handy if you're going uphill you can hit this to get yourself going uh, and uh, yeah, it gets you going. I didn't use anything more than, I used two, 99% of the way, I hit three going up. I haven't ridden in a while and um, yeah, I, I, I can climb pretty much anything with this. Um, well, it, too much power and you basically pop a wheelie. So two out of nine, you still get a great workout. Um, that's about what I use for work. Um, and then I'd, I'd run uh, one on the way up just to get a really good workout. It's a lot of fun. Um, you get a great workout, you just get there faster. And uh, it kind of puts the joy of bike riding back into bike riding. 
So um, also my commuter was really set up for a street bike. So the other thing I added was uh, a rock shock here. Uh, a shop in town knew how to convert the Cannondale single shock, which is pretty crappy to a rock shock. And uh, these are pretty nice. I also put on some huge uh, knobby tires on there, took the, uh, the street tires off and uh, rigged it with this. Uh, these work uh, beautifully today and uh, no flats. So um, someone on the, on the mainline list pointed out that, yeah, e-bikes are great. They're a lot of fun, but it does add to the amount of equipment that you now have to care and feed for. Um, you could also have, uh, well, you can have some good racks, but you could uh, also uh, have flat tires and other mechanical problems. So um, it, it, can, it can certainly make it more fun. Uh, makes it more convenient, that's for sure. So anyway, we're going to get out of here. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, if you're interested in doing, learning about doing this hobby, some it's on the air, I created a, a soda, a, <laughs> cut. <laughs> if you're interested in learning how to do some it's on the air, I created a video series called Soda 360. Check it out. Uh, it's a four-part series for activators. It covers the planning, equipment, um, an example activation, some stuff about safety, and how to upload your logs. There's also a video in there uh, in that learning series for chasers. Um, my tips on doing CW, although I don't, I'm not sure if you should listen to me. And uh, maybe a couple other things as we go along. Hey. We're at Veronica's Kitchen. The best Mexican food in Descanso and dare I say, maybe the best restaurant. There you go. We're gonna go and pick up some Mexican food. I'm gonna have a beer and a taco before I head home. I just, I just wanna introduce people to Veronica. Hola amigos. The best canitas in town. <laughs> so before I roll the credits, I did wanna bring up one thing and start a mail call. Um, maybe at the end of some of my uh, my videos um, to take a minute and appreciate the people that send me QSL cards. It's a neat part of the hobby uh, that's a holdover from the old days as a way of confirming that you did have a QSO or a QSO or also known as you did actually make that contact with a person in Germany or a particular county when you're doing a contest or you just wanted to uh, uh, brag uh, about how many contacts you made, but it's cool. It's a it's a personal touch uh, It's kind of fun to get something physical uh, in the mail from some folks and so sometimes a little note So I have a whole wall over here of them Got a Picture of that right here. That's kind of cool. That's just a smattering of some of the ones I've gotten I scan them all in and I'm planning on making kind of a, a digital Rolling QSL card thing. I don't know. We'll see what happens um, So I got kind of a pile of them. So anyway, I'm going to go over the ones I did go. I want to thank uh, Carrie Holiday, who's over in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Uh, he sent me one for our March 30th contact. I was on Charlie Whiskey 6 Charlie Tango 071, and that's Cahuya. So that was actually my previous video, um, and I did Cahuya with uh, Ted, W60ED. So thanks, Carrie. Thanks for sending the card, and thanks for the contact. So that's cool. He's got a little custom card there with... Uh, Carrie's picture on it. Kind of cool. All right, so we got um, so we got Carrie. The the next one here is uh, this is from David Thompson, and uh, this is for a couple of QSOs, um, one on 12 September 20 and 11 April 21. He's got a couple of them in here. So thanks for sending that to me, David. This is kind of a cool card. He's got a photo, uh, Carson City, Nevada. So kind of a nice little postcard to get. And then on the back, he's got listed the QSOs, and um, let's see, he's got kind of the, it says uh, the date, UTC, mode, what frequency, or, or, or megahertz, um, and then my uh, sent and received, the RST, uh, it says 73, and then he puts the particulars for uh, a Summit to Summit, oh, this is a Summit to Summit card, oh, I love this. So this, he was on Whiskey 7 November, that's a... I believe in Nevada um, Summit Whiskey Charlie 039. Oh, so I love that. So, um, yeah, I'll get into that in a second. So this is pretty cool. Um, it says I don't have a QSL to you on April 20th. Blah blah blah. I can't barely see it because the post office has covered it up. Um, 
So sending this one for both QSOs. Um, great to hear you. 73 uh, DE and Dave AG 7 TX. So very awesome. Um, and by the way, if you send a card with a, a postcard um, stamp, you save 19 cents each time you send one. So uh, those guys that are sending um, a letter, you're actually, and with a forever stamp, you're blown uh, an extra 20 cents, dude. So send cards. So if you send me one, you know what? It's practically a guarantee unless I screw up that you'll get one of these cool cards as well. Um, this is my QSL card. It was developed by Jeff, um, Kilo One Whiskey, or November, Kilo One November Sierra Sierra. He does QSL cards. Um, he's a really cool guy. I've talked to him on the phone a couple of times as we kind of worked out what I wanted my QSL card to make. Go check out his website. Um, he's also connected with another ham that actually does the printing. So it's kind of a, um, a yin yang thing they got going on there. It works really well. So I really like my uh, QSL cards. I put it on business cards and my website and everything else. And uh, Jeff is a really cool guy to work with. So anyway, send me one. You're guaranteed to get one of these. And uh, um, I also, last year, I sent out a ton of Summit to Summit ones, um, especially on my GOAT um, peak. I sent out a QSL card to everyone. So thanks for everyone who sent me one back. I totally get it. You don't have to send me one if you get one. Um, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy especially getting QSL cards uh, from DX contacts like in New Zealand and Spain, um, Portugal, Japan. Those are a lot of fun. I understand that sometimes the postage can be really expensive. I send QSL cards with no expectation of getting anything back. It's a fun thing to do. Um, kind of like, like sending karma, you know, you send karma out, you get karma back. So anyway, that's pretty cool. Uh, thanks to you guys for sending these. Uh, these are the last two that I've received. As you know, as you can see, I've gotten a bunch of them. So, um, yeah, just a fun thing to do here. So, um, in a future video, I'll probably just cover a little bit about my logging, how I do logging. Um, I'm currently using N3 FJP's AC log here. Um, so it's easy for me to, to dump all my contacts into here, and then I do some other things with it. We can talk about that later, but it was easy for me to look up which summit I was on um, when I got the comp when I uh, uh, for each of these QSOs. So anyway, with that, I'll say 73, and this time I'm serious. We're gonna roll the credits. 73, you guys. But I think it's cool that people still sell. <laughs> Let me say that again. Cut, take two, um, or ugh, can't talk. Ways to do electronic community. Uh, cut. Take three, four, five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So before.